Roulette 2013 Ride 1. Let's see, so this ride takes us from Whistling Jack's Lodge up over the mountain into Clay Elm for lunch and then a return path back to our lodge. The main route is 85 miles. Uh, lunch is at the subway in Clay Elm and uh, lunch is only 41 miles. So let's see, so the main route was intended to be start out at Whistling Jack's and go up this kind of switchbacky 10 miles of dirt road. Then there's a two mile section of single track. Uh, then it's four miles of more dirt road and this kind of this main fun section of 12 miles of single track here in the center. Um, and then on into subway for lunch. After lunch, it's kind of nice dirt roads here. Uh, and then there's one 10 mile section of the uh, single track again. And this is called the Mount Clifty uh, single track trail. And apparently there's a short section of where there's a, some exposure on it. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a report of a man going off in 2009 and being killed. So you will definitely want to be careful or be cautious as you're going through there. Um, and if the exposure to that kind of stuff is something you want to avoid, um, look me up and we can talk about alternative ways to, to, to reroute around that. Um, but anyway, um, so let's take a look at the ride in Google Earth. Um, let's see. So we'll zoom out here a little bit. Um, here's our lodge down here, um, and these are the first beginning of kind of, if you notice this road, it's really quite windy through here, so it should be really beautiful here on the first section. Um, and then the single track starts up here. Let's take a look at what this picture might be, Milky Way Junction, oh, it's a picture at night, okay, not very interesting. Um, this particular piece of single track yeah, it looks like it will be fun and quite easy. You can even, it looks like it isn't even just single track. It looks like it's maybe a two track, but again, it's rated for motorcycles only. Quads aren't allowed on that section. Um, and coming up here, uh, looks like some crookedness going on here. Looks like it could be fun. Um, I don't know what it's gonna turn out to be like going through there. Uh, Anyway, so it's really, just take a quick look at you here, a quick overview here again. It's really up over the top of the mountain and then down into Clay Elm. And the same thing, return. It's, the reason I made the, the return route this way is I thought it might be better to go downhill through this section here. Um, and there is down here a uh, easy ways alternative. It's a little longer if you want to just take dirt roads all the way back or if you want to do a loop like this, those are all kind of your choices. Um, so let's take a quick look then at what elevations we expect to see. Um, here's the route in topo maps. And so down here at our lodge, we're about, oh, 2,600 feet. And we're gonna go up around 5,000 feet here. And then we're down to 3,000 here. And down here at the floor, uh, or Clay Elm, it's 2,000 feet. Kind of the same thing coming up here. We're up to, mostly on the dirt road, you do your elevation climb. Uh, and we're up to 4,800 feet here. Uh, and then it kind of goes level through here. Um, and then it's all downhill to about, uh, where did we go here? To about 3,200 feet. Um, so that's it, it should be a fun ride. You can do it in either direction again if you like. Um, I don't have any particularly preferences. Mm.